finally got a pair of Crocs and we got the perfect collaboration. Hello, I'm Justine, also known as Just Sold Out, back here today with another unboxing. Towards the end of 2021, Salehi Bebmeri announced his collaboration with Crocs. Since then, a ton of colorways have all released. Every single colorway has something to do with earth and nature, and the colorway I got is one of my favorites. Today, we are unboxing the Salehi Bemberry Crocs collaboration in the Kuwata colorway. This colorway was inspired by cherry trees and the beautiful blossoming flower. The Salehi Crocs texture is based on his own fingerprint. This shoe released on October 22nd for a retail price of $85 US. Let's take a look at the box. On the top of the box, you have a nice imprint of the texture of the Crocs. On the side, you have a nice little collaboration branding for the Crocs Pollux Clog by Salehi Bemberry. Love that the Salehi Bemberry is at the very bottom in very minimal touch. It's just a nice little detail and overall love how this design looks to announce the collaboration of the shoe. On the back, you have your little Crocs logo as well as Salehi Bemberry's name and logo. Again, on the other side, you have classic Crocs branding as well as Salehi's Bemberry's name underneath. If we go ahead and look at the size sticker, I did get this in my men's five, women's seven. Some people have said to size down, so excited to put these on and see how they fit. This colorway, even though it was called the Kuwata, it is identified as pale blush on the box. This is also identified as a unisex shoe. All right, let's open this baby up. Fully packed in there, good to see. Ooh. And here we have the Salehi Benberry Crocs Pollux Clog in the beautiful Kuwata colorway. A lot of the sneaker blogs describe this as a salmon color. It is giving me salmon tones, although it feels more rosy blush. Towards the toe as well as the bottom sole, there are darker tones of this pink color. The hardware that overall holds your foot in the shoe has a little Crocs Salehi Bemberry branding on the little rubber piece. I love the colors that were picked out. They really go all together. It's very cohesive. I like that the straps have a little bit of texture as well with kind of like a light pink and a dark pink. I've never had Crocs before, so I'm just overall excited to finally wear a pair of these. I had no idea that in the inside there were actually kind of like little beads. You also do have Crocs and Salehi branding in the shoe as well. Overall, to manufacture the shoe, it is essentially like one injectable. You can see on the sides where this line is, this is where the two pieces of the mold are coming together. And that is why that line exists. It is very subtle. Every single shoe you have will have one of those lines. It's just inevitable. It's part of the manufacturing process. You know, you have two pieces, they come together, you fill it up with this injectable material, and then you take it apart, and now you have this shoe. The little pieces of hardware are just like an extra added touch and they come separately and they are compiled separately. On the inside of the shoe, there is a little sticker denoting that this shoe was made in Vietnam. Taking a nice look at the little details, if you actually look at the hardware, they have Salehi and Crocs branding on that little circle piece. The triangle piece that surrounds that circle doesn't have any branding and it is kind of like a nice touch that it has a little bit of a beaded texture to it. The end of the straps have a little rubber piece in a darker color. The end of the straps have a rubber piece that is the same color as the one that hits your back heel. The straps are Velcro so they're easy to pull apart. I imagine you kind of set this and get it fitted in one kind of setting and then you don't ever really need to ever adjust it again. Okay, I'm gonna put this on and see if it is true to size. Okay, I put them on and they do feel a little large. I would say the rumors are true. This does run a little bit large. I'm not entirely sure I would want to full size down because they do only come in full sizes. No half sizes are available. 
it does mean that I would go down to a US size 4 and I did do that previously for some of my Adidas shoes since Adidas previously used to run a little large. I would say that I haven't really bought any shoes recently in a size 4 so it just feels a little weird internally for me. I feel like I would need to try it on though because my feet are kind of the shoe length which is why I feel like it's okay and I'm not going to go ahead and try to swap them out for that smaller size. I did try these on with socks, although I do imagine that moving forward, I'm only going to wear these with socks. I don't think I would wear them barefoot. It's mainly due to my hyperhidrosis. I do have excessive sweating on both my hands and feet. We'll leave a, a little card for that video. The only time I imagine I'll wear this barefoot is if I'm at the beach or just like on the go. I feel like this is the perfect shoe for when I go golfing because I do change my shoes out from the back of my trunk. I don't wear shoes in my house so when I think about it I would put shoes on and they need to kind of be like easy shoes to take on and off because I just get to the golf course and I change right away into my golf shoes. It is mainly because I wear cleated golf shoes. I am surprised by the bottom and how much the rubber really helps give the shoe extra tread. I also didn't realize that there were a lot of little holes and little pieces to make the very front of this shoe breathable. Maybe this is the perfect shoe for people that have hyperhidrosis, sweaty feet. We'll see though, if I do pick up another pair in a different colorway, then I will likely have an update to share about the hyperhidrosis check. I just love this texture. I can't get over it. And I feel like that's what initially drew me to this shoe. Who knew that your fingerprint texture would just look so beautiful? I feel like the ridges give it just such a nice balance of texture. Reminds me of like waves almost. It is a distinct looking shoe. I mean, when you see them on the street, you know exactly what it is, who it's by, and maybe what colorway. I was able to pick this up for retail directly from the Crocs website. I had won the raffle. I was really excited because I had already taken an L earlier in the day. What do you think of this shoe? Let me know in the comments below. I'll leave some on foot footage as always. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.